participation in the Nairobi County Capital Markets University Challenge is open to students from all faculties in the participating universities and not limited to finance, economics or business students. Our objective right now is to try and inculcate a culture of savings. Okay, And we want to do it in a way that not just creates competition in a good way, but also creates awareness. The whole objective is not to slice off people from its stage, but sort of to create a dialogue and to create that excitement and to create uh, a thirst for knowledge in capital markets. The Nairobi County Capital Markets University Challenge will see students compete for a grand prize of 150,000 shillings to invest in a portfolio of shares listed on the Nairobi Securities Exchange and a trip to visit a competitive stock exchange and capital markets regulator within the African continent for a period of three days. Top. This is the top 12. Okay. Okay. So the grand winner, the offer of winner, will get 150,000 to buy shares of a company listed at the exchange. Okay. Now, in case you're wondering, we will not give them the money directly and say, go and buy shares. Okay. What we're doing is, we will ask them to locate a stockbroker of their choice, okay, and then we will send the money to the stockbroker. The university that produces the grand prize winner will receive capital markets related books for their library worth 75,000 shillings. Education and awareness programs which are really targeted at increasing the penetration and impact, um, frankly, beginning with the counties, which are really the bedrock of the growth and development of this country. Now, the Nairobi County Capital Markets University Challenge is therefore only the beginning of this initiative, the purpose of which is to establish yet another platform to enli enlighten young Kenyans of the opportunities presented by investing in financial products, to promote a savings culture among the youth, Capital Markets Authority Acting Chief Executive Paul Mothara says enhancing consumer education and literacy is highlighted as one of the critical pillars that will support the development of economic transformation under the Capital Markets Master Plan, which is the comprehensive plan charting the strategic positioning and future direction of the Kenya capital market over the next 10 years. All of this is part of the authority's long-term strategy. Um, of broadening the investor base uh, by embracing the youth who form the majority of this country's population. Michael Geshoke reporting for the Business News Hour.